Welcome back to the Sportatorium in Dallas and for our Texas Wrestling main event tonight. A world's heavyweight championship match that has been anticipated by this jam-packed crowd here tonight. It should be full of action from the word go. Greg Uncle, as you can see, may be possibly just a little bit taller than Luthez. Thez is the brunette of the two. He's a little bit older than Gunkel, the more experienced. The man on the right is Ed Strangler Lewis, world's heavyweight champion, and now the manager of Lou Thez. Referee is Leo Voss. This is the usual list of do's and don'ts, which precedes every match. These two main eventers for the world's heavyweight championship a scheduled best two out of three falls, an overall 90 minute time limit. Those are the minimum conditions under Texas wrestling laws under which the title could change hands. Match has to be two out of three falls, minimum of one hour time limit. That's for the world's heavyweight title. Luthez is warned by the referee to break the hold because he got it while the two were in the ropes. Both of these men are as fast as breezed lightning. Gunkel has an inside sit-down toehold now on Luthez, with the two just about in the middle of the ring. Gunkel, the challenger from the Windy City of Chicago, is the man in the saddle at this moment. He's been on the offensive since the opening goal in this first ball. It's quite probable that champion Luthez will have some difficulty getting this right leg of his back into normal circulation even should he be able to come out of this hole. Week in and week out here in the Sportatorium in Dallas, Texas wrestling fans see the finest wrestling there is anywhere in the country. The roughest, toughest, fastest wrestlers in the world. Compete in some of their best matches right here.
Says is still complaining of that jar which he took in the small of his back when he was slammed a moment ago by Gunkel. Says being the wise old field general he is, he's going to take advantage of every get back to normal here. Because he realizes if he rushes into action right at this moment, he may well be in trouble. Some of the spectators on the far side of the ring are trying to tell the referee that that was a straight fist blow rather than an open hand blow. Mr. Thayers will have no more of the body slam, thank you. Gunkel, the brown-headed youngster with the side headlock right now, tonight is attempting to take away from champion Lou Fez the world's heavyweight title belt. Side headlock is doing plenty of damage to Thayers. Of course, it's from these side headlocks and head scissors that cauliflower ears grow. You've noticed, I'm sure, that most wrestlers' ears are covered with scar tissue. That's from the tremendous pressure put on them by these side headlocks and also in times when they're caught by a head scissor. Apparently these spectators who have come to the sportatorium tonight are about evenly divided in their favoritism toward the champion Lou Fez and Ray Gunkel. Many of them would like to see Ray Gunkel dethrone Fez, despite the fact that the champion has great popularity. This double side headlock each man has a side headlock on the other. This double hold you will see quite often in amateur wrestling. Both of these men were amateur wrestling stars before their days as professionals. Of course, theirs is much more experienced in professional wrestling than is Gunkel. He has now come up with a hammerlock on Ray.
This is Gunkel again with that side headlock. Official timekeeper says that we're 10 minutes deep in the first fall of our best two out of three fall 90 minute time limit main event for the world's heavyweight championship. I believe if the judges and the referee were to be asked right at this moment, who is ahead in this match as far as points and offensive maneuvers is concerned that they would say that Ray Gunkel has carried the offensive so far. Based on past performances, neither of these men would resort to really rough tactics unless the opponent were to start it. It's been their record. To these two, rough house tactics are used in self-defense. Or when the tempers begin to flare up. you can't keep that hold. Theirs is being warned by referee Leo Voss about the application hold before the break from the ropes is complete. We're still in the first fall of this best two out of three fall world championship match. Right now the spectators and the referee are suspecting Luthez of choking tactic tactics. Apparently that reverse chin lock had dropped down under Gunkel's chin. The short arm scissor used by Thez. This is hardly a pinning hole unless he can put enough pressure on it to make Gunkel concede the ball. Because that off shoulder, Ray's right shoulder, has no pressure on top of it. Gunkel almost turned the tables on Luthez that time when he pulled him up into that jackknife.
The short arm scissor puts terrific amount of pressure all the way from the shoulder down through the wrist. You can see that Thez has run his own right forearm into the bend of Ray Gunkel's left arm. He's bent that arm at the elbow and tied up the entire hold in the bend of the champ's right leg. Gunkel is rubbing that left hand in an effort to retain circulation and so that if he is able to break the hold, Thez won't be able to regain it. Fifteen minutes have gone by in this first fall. And Lou Thez has gone on the offensive for the past several minutes. And if this fall continues, he will be able to regain the disadvantage in points. Actually, points would be of no importance unless the match should last the entire 90-minute time limit and the decision be left to the judges and to the referee. Fez is adding all the punishment he can to the short arm scissor in the hopes that he can force Ray Gunkel to concede the first fall of their match tonight. Referee's asking Gunkel if he'll give up the fall. Ray has refused thus far. Ray's in good position now to break this hold. It's going to be hard for Thez to get Gunkel back down against the canvas with a short arm scissor. Gunkel again is attempting to counter this short arm scissor, which Thez has used such good advantage this first fall. About the only counter for it is to jackknife Thez, as Gunkel is attempting to do here. He's unable to keep his balance. The old pro, the old master, Lou Thayers, is having a tough go of it tonight in his match against Ray Gunkel. These are elbow smashes, which are legal. flying front body scissor takedown. All 
almost got him that time, but the shoulder came clear just before the count of three. Notice that Gunkel has a front body scissor. He's not going to be thrown off of this top press. He has a front body scissor combined with the press and with the spread eagle arm lock. Better than 20 minutes now, these two main eventers have been wrestling. Both of them in perfect physical condition. Ray has switched over that front body scissor now to a side body scissor. He's attempting to regain control of his arm locks. Champion Luthez has, it seems, been right on the verge of losing this first fall for the past several minutes. He manages to hook now over toward the ropes on the far side of the ring in an effort to get this hold broken. He's made it far enough into the ropes that referee Leo Voss orders Ray Gunkel to free the hold. The count of nine, Fez is up but only for a moment. Pile driver. Again, Fez just barely escapes that third count. Ah, oh, that Fez has the fight to him. You've got to beat him right down to the canvas before you win a fall from him. There's that third count. There's the first fall over. Ray Gunkel is the winner. Ray Gunkel finally puts the clincher on the first fall. Back to Texas wrestling and the second fall of our best two out of three fall main event tonight. Promoter Ed McLemore tonight is presenting a world's heavyweight championship match in which Lou Thayers is coming into the ring now is defending his title against the challenge of the young star Ray Gunkel of Chicago. Gunkel won the first fall, 22 minutes and 15 seconds with a series of body slams. Thez is a little bit slow in leaving his corner. He took a lot of punishment in that first fall. You notice that the champion is left-handed. Most of the time when he goes into close quarters, his left shoulder is out in front. His left foot is out in front. There's a simultaneous overhead double wrist lock. 
A lot of leverage by both men involved in this hole. It's a test of shoulder and arm strength. Two wrestlers, two of the nation's top stars, weigh within a couple of pounds of each other. Uh oh. Looks like uh, Mr. Ray Gunko is using some of their own tactics. Swinging on Thayer's as the two come off the ropes. You and I have seen Thayer's use that maneuver where he slaps his opponent with his left as they break in an effort to arouse his opponent's temper. And Gunkel made a very similar gesture there. I believe he hit him with an open hand. But from this stern warning from the referee, it may have been a straight fist blow. Hand blows into Gunkel's face. Gunkel was threatening Thayer's with a straight fist blow when the referee warned him a moment ago. AAU champ and Purdue wrestling star Ray Gunkel has one leg up on the world's heavyweight championship. And what a terrific rise to the wrestling crown it would be if he is able tonight to unseat the champion Luthes. Wrestling for Purdue for four years. Staying in school until he received his master's degree. And then after a time entering the professional ring wars. In the comparatively short time in which he's been a professional, his success has been outstanding. Gunkel with that strong pair of shoulders. Immense arms for getting all there is from this side headlock. You see that now that Thez is weakened, he's rocking that hole, and rolling it. Five minutes have gone by according to the timekeeper. Five minutes of the second fall. It was Ray Gunkel who won that first fall, you remember, with a series of punishing body slams topped by a top body press. 22 minutes and 15 seconds the first fall went, and Ray Gunkel was the winner.
Referee Leo Boss is asking Lou Fez if he's willing to concede this second fall. And knowing how Fez operates, that's not possible. Ooh, an airplane spin. That's one of Fez's favorite weapons. No, not this time. They're in the ropes on the far side, referee. Right when it seemed there that Lou Fez might be at the point of winning the second fall with that airplane spin of his, Ray Gunkel countered it and almost got a pinning hold himself. A lot of excitement here in the Sportatorium in Dallas tonight at this outstanding heavyweight championship match. Fez is attempting to shove Gunkel away, but as he pushes on Ray, it also tightens the hold on Fez's head. heavyweight wrestling championship is at stake in this main event tonight that you're seeing on Texas wrestling. And this up and coming young star Ray Gunkel has a good start right at this moment toward the most coveted championship in professional wrestling, the heavyweight crown. If Ray Gunkel is able to maintain this side headlock and the punishing pace that he has set for himself and Lou Fez in this second fall, it's almost impossible to imagine how Fez can stand the pressure much longer. A rolling leg lock by the champion. Gunkel is the pressure of the two. Let's see who has the advantage right now. Fez is seeking the sanctuary of the ropes over there for a 10 count. Three, four, five, six, seven. Mr. Gunkel, you can't get a hold while a man is down on the canvas. Fez is on the ropes, but he's not out. He hasn't held the world's heavyweight championship going on four years now without acquiring a tremendous background of ring savvy. Plus a lot of durability. He stays in perfect condition. If he can gain just a few moments of respite, you'll see a different Lou Fez. Ten minutes have gone by in the second fall. A 
Well, apparently, Mr. Gunkel is not going to give the champion any rest. He's not going to give him a chance to come back. Tezzas hooked one leg into the ropes. The champion has had enough close calls in this match tonight to last him another 10 years. Those look like straight fist blows to me. They look that way to the referee too. Body drop. One, two. Oh, a beautiful bridge by Lou Thayers, lifting his own weight and most of Gunkel's. There's that body drop again. It looked for a moment that he might have him. Thayers pulled his right shoulder clear as he rocked over. Body slam. One, two, three. And the second ball goes to Luthez with one of the hardest body slams that we have ever seen a man take. Not straight down, but out and then down. Luthez simply slung Ray Gunkel through the air. He landed several feet away on the back of his head and on his shoulders. And Thayer's himself almost completely out from fatigue in the second ball. Covers Gunkel with that top body press. The count of three by the referee and there's hardly a sound from this crowd of almost 7,000. As Ray Gunkel wins the second ball of tonight's best two out of three fall main event. To even up this match which will decide the challenge of Ray Gunkel for Lou Fair's heavyweight championship. Ed Strangler Lewis with Lou Fair's. Ray Gunkel is being helped by the two seconds and by the referee from the ring. He took a terrific call. And it may be questionable whether he'll be able to come back for more action. Certainly, he needs a lot of repair work. The time on that second fall, 14 minutes and 10 seconds, and the winner, Luther. And now we're ready for the third and deciding fall in tonight's World's Heavyweight Championship match between Luther is the champion whom you see here. And Ray Gunkel. Ray is coming back down the aisle. A lot of the fans here had not expected Gunkel to reappear for this third fall. But the fact that the commission doctor is also coming in the ring is not a good sign. You know, to end that second fall, Luthez threw Gunkel halfway across the ring. Gunkel landed on his head and his shoulders. He was out for several moments after the fall ended and then had to be assisted from the ring.
We'll know in a moment what all this conference is about. But the fact that the, the Dr. Rousen, the commission doctor, has come into the ring would indicate that he is hesitant to allow Gunkel to continue. Ray Gunkel is protesting the decision of the commission doctor, claiming that the decision should be his to make and that he wants to continue to go on with this third fall. Apparently a, a mislocated vertebra there. The commission doctor is afraid of a permanent injury and it is his decision from which there is no appeal in this case that Ray Gunkel cannot be allowed to continue. Lou Thez is declared the winner. Thez expresses good wishes for a quick return to normal condition. A good gesture of sportsmanship. And the winner is Lou Thez.